This piece is my attempt to think about a particular origin. Having grown up in the United States as a child of Nigerian immigrants, I understand something about where I am from and my connection to the motherland, Africa, Nigeria. But then I feel also an inheritor of a kind of violence and a kind of rupture and a kind of erasure because of a particular colonial conquest. I have made a speculative mythology. And this early piece is a speculative mythology around community and rupture and the consequences of that rupture. Are we ready for music? Yes. As a part of our collaborative process, I kind of think about the visual world of the piece and come up with different visual ideas to present to Oakley and the rest of the cast. For the most part in this piece, we're in kind of the village square. And, and so thinking about like, well, how, how would these people come together and speak if we are imagining this egalitarian society where there's not, it's not a triangle or a square where we can see where the important points are, but all points on the circle are equal, right? Peter starts to create designs and then we can, all of us in the piece, I'm writing the piece, so we can... And in the piece. And in the piece. <laughs> so we are in a kind of constant interface and exchange with the design. The piece is also about the bodies, the actual bodies in the space and the community that we form and how we're coming together and coming apart and what we sustain with each other. And I'm really interested in what is a pulse that is like sort of an engine of a community. When does that stop? How does that shift? And when does it finally break? Do I understand? Do I understand? By this, 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 this circling and this, this kind of spiraling that we're trying to open the road, like literally. It's not a representation of people doing that. It's, it's this group of people in this space who are literally trying to do that for all of us. I think of it as a group of people who have come together and they're using this story to celebrate something with each other. Everybody who's coming into this piece in their individual practices is thinking about relationship. And we're at a time right now in the world where we have to deeply think about how we are attuned to each other, right? And what does it mean to know that your survival is contingent on the survival of others? And what are you doing to take care of those connections? What are the inevitable ruptures? And is there any repair when there's a there's rupture? What is the specificity and the singularness of those moments where we're together? And like, how do we take care of that? 